Hi everyone and welcome to Wise Eyes. I'm Sarah. And I'm Ethan, and here on Wise Eyes we're discussing all things character bonus. If you missed our last episode, we learned that Ethan has progressive keratoconus. Lucky me. So seriously, how are you feeling about everything? I mean, honestly, I was scared at first. Obviously, I don't want to lose my vision, but the idea that I needed a procedure, to me, was just as overwhelming. But then I talked to Kendra, the nurse coordinator, and she told me a little bit about the eyelid cross-linking procedure, and I felt a lot better. I mean, just the fact that iLink is the only FDA-approved cross-linking procedure available to slow or even better halts progressive keratoconus from getting worse altogether it was enough for me to assure that I didn't need to go looking for other options. Let's talk a little bit about how iLink works. Okay. Little uh, anatomy refresher to set the stage. Sure. Love those. Okay. So we learned previously that the cornea is made up of collagen fibers, and these fibers hold the cornea together. Like glue. Yes, like glue. Well, individuals with KC have weakened collagen fibers. These weakened fibers allow a bulge to form, distorting vision and causing other visual issues. Right, and that's where eye link cross-linking comes in. It's a minimally invasive procedure. Which means it's not a major surgery. Exactly, and it's usually done right there in the doctor's office. Hmm, that's convenient. It is. It basically utilizes UV light in combination with specialty eye drops that help strengthen and stiffen those weakened collagen fibers. Here, check out this animation. So, the combination of UV light and these specialty drops help the cornea maintain its shape? Yes, which can slow or halt the progression of KC. Wow, that's so cool. It is, and definitely not as intimidating as I thought it would be. One thing that I read that we should probably mention is that while iLink may help slow or halt the progression of KC, it's not going to improve your vision, but it will maintain the vision that you currently have. But with any medical procedure, there are some things to watch out for, like ulcerative keratitis, which can be a potentially serious eye infection. So no unrealistic expectations, okay, Ethan? Yep, no unrealistic expectations here. Okay, one more question for you. What's that? Will there be any more procrastination on your end? <laughs> okay, absolutely not. My doctor told me it's difficult to tell how quickly someone's collagen fibers are deteriorating, so it's important to get the procedure done as soon as your doctor recommends it, which is why I'm already scheduled for mine. Look at you go!